so here we are from Las Vegas as I promised and maybe you're wondering why I look so cute today <laughs> that is actually because I'm here with a very special couple that are also focusing on the same thing as we do and I'm here with my soul sister Wilma and she have taught me some really amazing modeling skills here in Las Vegas and uh, we have also been uh, doing some, I'm just taking this jacket off, <laughs> and we have also been doing some amazing things. So I thought Wilma here can tell a little bit about what it is that she's doing, because you can probably see her absolutely amazing outfit. And so, I have also been work, working around in Las Vegas in this outfit these days. Yeah, so I'm wearing my face, and if you couldn't tell on my legs and on my shirt, it's my face. Um, this wardrobe came from me being addicted to opiates for nearly 20 years after being physically abused for years and had two failed back surgeries and doctors putting me on pain pills just like a lot of people um, go on these days and everybody knows somebody in America who's struggling with opiate addiction so these leggings came from me falling in love falling in love with myself and learning not to care about what others thought about me or how I should look and feel but me taking charge of how I felt and looked. And that is amazing and she looks absolutely amazing Thank and you. she has an absolutely amazing like personality. So hot. <laughs> <laughs> personality as well. Thank but can you. you tell me a little bit about how that how did how did this empower you on the way? How did it feel for you, when you were starting to love yourself, to wear your face, how, how did you become more, more confident by doing that? Um, this was an accident um, discovery. My husband tried to punish me for me complaining too much about too many pictures for somebody else, some other model. So I said, or demanded, or asked for it, <laughs> however you want to uh, phrase it, for more pictures. So he says, I'll show her. And we were in process of putting some marketing logos and things of that nature on the leggings, coming up with new designs. And he said, I'm going to come up with some design for Vilma to teach her a lesson. So he put my face on, on the leggings, on the t-shirt. They shipped it to came, And I put it on and I felt amazing. And Chuck was laughing and giggling. He's like, she's not going to go outside in these. And I'm like, I'll show him. So I stepped outside and the attention I got was just empowering. Little girls, girls were running up to me asking me to take pictures with them, asking me if I was famous or an actress, asking me for autographs. And I felt the, va the value that I felt that I had was something that I never felt before. I felt like I was worth something and that was the high that I was always searching for. Mm -hmm. Like I, I was worth something. That's what all us women want to feel like, you know? Yeah, and it's uh, such a beautiful example of, of being a superstar in your own world because we're all the, the main character in our own lives. And this just transmitted it into the true power that it is and the true power that we all, all own in our own lives. But you were up here, the face on the leggings too, and stepped out with me. And the attention we got was just out was of crazy. this world. How did you feel? Everybody wanted to take pictures of us. <laughs> and actually we have, we look a little bit similar. So I think somebody could see that, that it was her we and somebody twins. thought it was me. We, yeah. They said, oh, but yeah, it's, uh, these twins are wearing their faces <laughs> on their thighs. Th eyes on their thighs. And we was walking through the casinos and everybody turned around. And so many people, I don't know how many pictures we did. And then we went to a construction uh, um, expo. expo today <laughs> as well, together with a client of uh, Wilma and Chuck. And absolutely the same there. And what we see is the power we own, you know, we double or triple or hundred times our own power when we use our own identity on uh, ourselves and the genuine idea that this uh, this couple maybe Chuck can come here just so we talk about Wilma and Chuck just so they can see you just say hi. Yeah. So this, <laughs> um, so, go ahead. Yeah. So uh, and when they use this together with the power of branding. One thing that I found out is that a lot of I'm going to speak about Vilma because I don't want to put a lot of women in a category. For Vilma, um, she spent a life of trying to be understood. All she wanted to do was be respected and to be heard and to be treated as an equal or that she had br brought value to the table. 
And a lot of women go through life and not really finding people in their immediate surroundings that give them the um, the encouragement, give them uh, um, words to encourage their beauty on the inside. And so what we found out is that by utilizing these leggings, she got the truth. People genuinely come up to the, her very, very, you can look at their face, they're very um, excited, they're confused, but it, it's a beautiful confusion. It's the eyebrows touch together and they, and they, and they, and they look, see, and they say, I, I got to ask you, is that you? Is that a tattoo? Well, <laughs> usually the men are, is it a tattoo? Are you nude? <laughs> Women are, you know, is that you on your face on leggings? You know, but, um, for Vilma, it was a life changer for her because what it did for her was that it gave her honest and truthful uh, human beings walking up to her, basically saying, oh my goodness, you've inspired me. Yeah, and there is nothing in this world that we can be better on than being ourselves either. And that is the ultimate goal, I think, about living this life here, mm -hmm. to, to be as much you as you can possibly be. And uh, it's just beautiful and it's just genuine. And Vilma really show that it's working out just with full power and, and well i don't know about other countries but i know about america you know um, um speech is nothing more than a translation of an emotion mm -hmm. and we in america we've only had about 250 years of translating emotions where people in europe they've had hundreds and thousands of years english comes from the germanic language so what happens here in america is that we find ourselves sometimes having a difficult time explaining how we feel and how we feel inside and bringing those into words to translate to people how I really feel. You have a lot of people say that I'm empowered, but when you really look deep down inside, they're still waiting on others to approve what they're doing mm. until you can say, you know what, world, no more. I am comfortable in my skin. I am comfortable with the words that come out of my mouth, and I respect my heart and brain, myself, and you're not looking for other people to validate that. I think that's when your world starts to become better and when you start falling more in love with yourself. That's when shit starts happening. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can tell us a little bit, Vilma, how was it for you to, after all these years of, of being out of yourself and running mm -hmm. outside, how was it for you to be more aligned with yourself? It was really emotional. I remember, because we travel so much, I remember mm -hmm. we would drive through on a highway through the woods and I would see the rainbow, the, just the blue sky and the green trees. I'm just getting emotional mm. thinking about it. Sorry. It's okay. It's there, have been there have been times when uh, I remember us driving <clears throat> up this big long hill through North Carolina. And this hill had a very long straightaway that was like 15 miles away. And then in between the, the two mountains, the road kind of went over and there was nice beautiful clouds there and everything. And she was over in the passenger seat. Her feet were on the dashboard and she was sitting there crying. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I've never seen this before. <laughs> Didn't yeah, notice missed it. Out of it. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'd never seen this before. This is beautiful. I've known for almost 20 years. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Emotions are beautiful and emotions are, are uh, our key to creating. I haven't had world. any emotions for so long, so now they're like just all over the place. But yeah, I'm but that's mess. absolutely fine. Thank you. That's, mm -hmm. that's yeah. how emotions are. They are all over it all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not like the emotions disappear. Mm -hmm. It's just like we learn how to handle them more mm -hmm. balanced. Mm -hmm. But they will still be there as long as you're authentic and not numbing them with something else. Mm -hmm. I yeah. speak to about 30 women a day. And I kind of hear the same thing from, you know, Susie in L.A., Sue in, in Stephanie in New York or whoever. I kind of hear the same thing. Um, the All women say this. I just want to be heard. Mm. I want to be respected. And I just want people to treat each other good. That's all women mm. ever want, you know, is just to be heard and respected. And like I have a say. I have a say. Mm. And then... She gets an inbox full of men trying to take her on a date, you know. And so it just, it, it's, it gets a little, it's hard being a woman, I can tell you that. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you get a bunch of those too, right? It's yeah. hard being a woman. I feel for you guys. I mean, it depends from what uh, viewpoint you look at it. It's also powerful being a woman. Um, oh, yeah. it's Absolutely. Also, it's yeah. also that people are <clears throat> wanting you or looking at you and things. You can also also take it as a compliment. You know? Like whatever, everything man does in mm. life is to impress the woman. Mm. You know, like the, the car, car he the drives, house. the house he buys. Mm -hmm. It's like to impress the woman, to mm -hmm. do better in life, to impress them. You know, so it's good we're here, so they can have a good life <laughs> 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 and achieving the things they want. Uh, 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 yes. <laughs> the yes, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Powerful. Any other questions for me? Can I leave now? Can I make you? Can leave. You Thank can you. Leave. All right. And, bye, uh, guys. Hello. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Bye. So. Uh, yeah, I, I wrap it up with my soul sister here, mm -hmm. and uh, I want to thank you so much for and being with thank us, you and for coming here and staying with us, and, and not running away. Wilma, my, my sister, mm -hmm. if there are other sisters out there who also want to spend time with you and uh, uh, do the things you do, can they do that? Is that something you are offering to uh, others? Absolutely, they can join our team, ask us questions how to become a teammate. Mm -hmm. Do you have, uh, can they make leggings for themselves? Can they brand their right. company? Yeah, that's how we brand mm -hmm. the QR Skin Co. We can put your logo, we can put your puppy, we can put your brand, we can put your wife's face, your lover's face. <laughs> what you, we can put your tractor on one leg and the name of your company on the other one. You have a vision, we make it come alive. Amazing. So if you want to reach out, I tagged her in the video so you can reach out directly to her and she and her team will take care of your questions. And uh, thank you and bye.